Thanks for joining me and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Hi guys, today I have fried catfish and shrimp. I'm gonna do a fried catfish and shrimp mukbang. Um, I got this from a local place here, here in Oklahoma. It's called Sam's Southern Eatery and they have really good seafood, fish. We go to them quite often probably two or three times a month I know but it's really good look at the fish so I got uh, catfish fries red beans and rice and then I got some grilled shrimp and so let me say prayer and I'll dive right in dear Lord thank you for the food I'm about to receive in Jesus' name I pray, amen. I like Tabasco on my fish. Guys, I'm hungry. Stomach is growling. Mmm. Red beans and rice are good. Guys, excuse me if I'm not talking. I'm hungry. Didn't have breakfast and just kind of woke up hungry, but I didn't make myself breakfast, though. Had to run, baby. Yeah, I had a few errands to run and still didn't get me anything while I was out, so. We came back home and we decided on, I guess, an early lunch from Sam's. So. Guys, Ty is over here trying to be quiet, <laughs> but he's right up here. He's he's eating Sam's too. He's trying to be quiet though. At least once a week. I love seafood and I like fish, but for me, it's like I have to have a taste for that or a craving for that. Um, Ty eats catfish way more often than I do. 
he gets Sam's probably at least once a week. But I don't always have a taste for fish. I rather seafood over fish, like shrimp and crab legs, and lobster. I prefer that over over a uh, fish. But of course, in Oklahoma, we don't have a whole a lot of seafood places. I mean, we have, <clears throat> I guess, Pearl's Crab Town. Uh, I don't know if Joe's Crab Shack is still open, but hadn't been there in so many years. I don't know if it's open still or not. Mm -hmm. We have a place that's been in business probably, hmm, I don't know, about maybe five years. And it's called Off the Hook. I have yet to try it. I've heard really good things about it. Mm. I can't wait to try it. And here they have a lot of seafood, so. Like at uh, Sam's, this two piece fish and six shrimp with two sides, and it, it's eleven ninety nine. So it's pretty good, pretty reasonable prices. I was saying is just <clears throat> they give you an option to either have your stuff grilled or fried and that's anything you get like the fish I'm sorry the fish chicken shrimp you can get it grilled or fried they have oysters too and I'm I've only ever had the uh, the fried oysters but they're really good Hush puppies. You done over there? Right. 
Yes, 1, 1.40 p.m. That's kind of a late lunch. It's good. <clears throat> Go a little spicy. What's a little spicy? Tabasco. A little spicy for me today. It's not as <laughs> spicy as some other sauces now. I'm going to try the sweet one. Which one is the sweet one? I think it's the top uh, the orange one. Show me. We got some sauces <clears throat> from the show hot ones <clears throat> we ordered some of their sauces and we're going to be doing a video soon on that um but some of them we tried some of them well we tried them but some of them seem they have a good taste to them and they seem like they would be really good on food i mean like on your food like fish or chicken or whatever but some of them are just so spicy that so hot that you just don't want to you want to do just a challenge on, with those you don't want them I would never put that on my food and eat it it's just it's just too hot but I mean you know we do challenges with them I say there's probably like three of them that I might would eat on my food. I got my shrimp grilled today. Sometimes I get it fried. Sometimes I get it both grilled and fried. Yeah, mm-hmm. Most of the time I get a shrimp dinner. I'm not the fish, but today I was wanting some fish. Sounded good. Sounded good to me. Yeah, and my favorite fast food. fast food, I think, is Arby's. And I usually get the chicken and bacon Swiss sandwich. And that's what I really wanted at first. But then he started talking about catfish. And it started sounding good to me. So I said I wanted fish today.
I was thinking about like today, this has been pretty hot here in Oklahoma, but today it's like kind of mild. It's partly cloudy, so it's not real as hot as it has been. But I was thinking about going outside. I don't know if you guys remember the rose bush that I showed you, but it has grown out of control. Remember, I told you I trimmed it, but it every time we trim it, it seems to grow back double the size it was. And then there was like a really windy day about two weeks ago. Super windy. I mean, like blowing over trash cans, big trash cans, cans the, tra the outdoor trash cans, just blowing them all over. And I had to end up putting the trash cans in the garage to keep them from blowing away. Yeah, yeah. so... There's one branch that just kind of didn't make it to the windstorm. So it was like hanging over. And it's like one of the main, looks like one of the main branches of the of the um, rose bush. And so I'm trying to figure out how to trim this thing to make it look, you know, to make the shape of it look okay without cutting too much. Mm-hmm. And I like it. I've always liked it. I like where it is. It's just kind of privacy for my front porch. On my front for the front door. But it's always been massive. And just want to cut it down a little bit, but I still I want to keep it, but I just feel like it needs to be cut down a little bit. Well, he <laughs> he charges quite he he charges a lot, and I just feel like I've been doing it. We've been doing it. Well, I'm talking about the one that said he would cut them all down for you. Mm -mm. He was like, no. I don't trust it. I don't want nobody to cut all of my trees. I don't want you to cut all of my trees down. My bushes. I like them. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like the... I don't know if you call them a home association slash maintenance guy slash... He's just like a tree trimmer person that he does yards. And he does some of the other people's yards in the neighborhood. But he'll come he'll just come by and say, If you know, I can cut those trees down for you if you want. He wants me to be cut down. I mean it's different to trim and it's different from cutting them. Just getting rid of them altogether. Yeah, I said no. I didn't. Want, I don't want my trees cut down. But mm -hmm. I just feel like I can trim them. We can trim them ourselves, and they'll be, you know, smaller. But but we don't want them cut completely down. Because, like I said, I like the fact that they're a little bit of privacy <clears throat> for my front door. Nobody's. I mean, if I cut that down, then they can look right up on my, you know, through my front door if I open it, when I open it. And I don't like that. And we get pages, people can't see up there. Yeah, I like that too because when we get packages, the way it's made, it. it uh, the way my front porch is made, it, it you won't be able to tell. Nobody can see that there's a package there. And we get packages quite often, so I don't want that to be, just be visible to people. And that's like advertisement. <laughs> so I come, I have packages. Come get them. Yeah. Mm -mm. No, we don't. <laughs> He said we're not inviting any porch pirates.
Well, it is officially summer. And we can say it's summer now. I just gotta figure out what. It's the first day of <clears throat> the cancer going back. Hmm? It's the first day of cancers. I'm not sure. Times. I'm not sure when they start. I think the 23rd. But I, um, it's so weird that we have this pandemic going on and it's really not, you can't just like start planning stuff for summer because we don't know what's in store, you know, and that's kind of, that puts a damper on summer because we don't know what all we should be doing. Um, apparently doing too much is caused us to be you know have a rise in you know cases and that's a little scary you know I mean of course I want to try and have some kind of summer fun so we'll have to try to think about what we can do just within our own surroundings of what we could do for, for summer fun. Gemini's ended on June 20th, this year, yeah. and Cancer's began on the 21st. the 21st of June. Happy birthday to all of the Gemini's that had birthdays in May and June. And happy birthday to all the Cancers that are beginning their birthdays for this month. And I guess they go into next month, right? And then August, we have Virgos, right? And then September is Libras. That's me. Yeah. So Virgos, they go off into September, like mid September. shrimp is good <clears throat> it's so much flavor I think because they they grill it with onion and bell pepper nice season. very seasoned seasoned very well My fries got kind of cold. You know how I am about fries, cold fries. I won't fin. I won't finish them. Mmm, that's good though. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, that's all for today. Thanks, you guys, for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe, like, and comment and to let me know that you like what I'm doing. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you in a video tomorrow. Bye.